Hey, God bless you. Wherever you're at and whatever time you're watching this, we want to welcome you to the Daily Reminder. Love this verse. It's in Hebrews chapter 2, verse 1. The writer says, Therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to those things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. Again, in Philippians 3 and 1, Paul writing to the church of Philippi, says, Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. For me to write the same thing to you. For me it is not grievous or tedious, depending on your translation, but for you it is safe. Paul is saying, listen, I am bringing this reminder to you because it's safe for you. I'm going to continue to remind you of these things, though we've talked about it, we've studied it, we've done Bible studies, we've taught lessons. I'm going to continue to remind you of these things because it is safe for you. So listen, here's, here's a thought for us today. In Luke chapter 5, Jesus is on the seashore. He's teaching, and the crowds are gathering to him. And the Bible says that he saw two boats standing there on the seashore, and he asked, it was Simon Peter, if he would allow Jesus to use his boat. So Jesus got in the boat. They put out to sea. Jesus sat down. He was teaching uh, the people just a little ways off offshore. And then in the fourth verse, Jesus said this to Peter. He said, launch out, after he was finished speaking, he said, launch out into the deep, let down your nets for a catch. After he had finished speaking, he looked at Peter and he said, launch out into the deep. Let down your nets for a catch. Now, later on in the chapter, as Peter responds to him, actually, it's the very next verse, Peter just says, Lord, listen, we have fished all night. We have toiled. We have labored. We are weary. We have caught nothing. But nevertheless, at your word, because he was the Lord, I'll let down the net. Now, it's interesting to note that Jesus seemingly naturally didn't know anything about fishing and he is saying to veteran fishermen i want you to launch out at a time you wouldn't launch out i want you to go to a spot that you wouldn't normally go to and i want you to fish in a way that you would not normally fish they knew by experience when to fish where to fish how to fish but listen jesus was setting them up for a wow I didn't know that I didn't know that moment. We really do believe God is doing that in this day. You have to remember that the goal, if you go to Luke chapter 5 and verse 10, Jesus, at the end of this story, he says, don't be afraid, fear not. From henceforth, from now on, you will catch men. It is quite possible that the hand of God is on the hearts of many who have not said yes to Jesus. It is possible that our God is poised and positioned to bring great awakening to this nation. And it is possible that God, in what is happening presently, is going to teach you and I how to be skilled fishermen. And it may not look the way it used to look for us. It may not be the way it used to be for us. We may end up doing it at a time or in a place that we would have normally done. But the Bible says this in Romans chapter 8 and verse 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. We want to be not children. We want to be mature sons. Hearing the voice of God, the Holy Spirit, in this hour and knowing how to respond to what he is requiring we believe, and you can see it in the heart of God through, the, through uh, Peter's writings in the second book of Peter, chapter 3, that God is not desirous that any perish. His heart and desire is that all would come to repentance. God wants people saved, and God chooses to use the church to do that. So just maybe, though we've been really good at doing this, and we've known how to do it for years, maybe we're in a time and a season where God is beginning, going to begin to mix some things up and he's going to show us how to do some things that we would have never done without his instruction in a way, at a time, and in a place, in a form, in a fashion, in a manner that we would have never imagined. But we just need to hear him. So God bless you. Catch you next time.